What's up, people of the world? It's your girl, Lala. And your boy, Siobhan. And you are listening to... Talk That Shit. With the Melvins. Hey, what's up? Howdy, howdy. <laughs> Why do you feel like you I need to know. do a country song <laughs> or why a regular they, song? Why it gotta be country just because I say it, howdy? It, what rap song? Which which rap song do you hear? Howdy, what's up? Here we go. Let's go. First of all, I don't, howdy. I don't listen to rap music really. <laughs> well, what R and B song you hear was howdy? Come just because I haven't heard it doesn't me. mean it doesn't exist. It just means I haven't heard it. Okay, cool. All right. So, howdy, the um, the rap musical. How you doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Look at those clouds. The clouds are dark. Shut your mouth, you filthy animal. Okay, so this is this week is based on your topic. <laughs> since we going straight in, since we don't want to talk about things that's going on in the world right now, what's going with like that? Sh- like you can't move. Shut your mouth. Okay. Shut your mouth. Okay, I get it. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> Why is it so hard? It's really not. <laughs> and you always blame me. You always make it hard. I'd be like, I don't, I don't even touch this. I'm gonna break my nail. What is what is wrong with it? Forget it. Just screw it. I don't I'm just gonna sit up. <laughs> Ouch, my neck. Okay, anyway, you have a topic today? No, it's your topic. My topic? The one you put on Facebook. Oh, okay. Let me go look at it. I forgot. Cause I don't, I want to make sure I say it. Um. Mm-hmm. <coughs> it's just crazy how we was literally having this conversation in the car for like three hours, back and forth. Really? <laughs> yeah, we was driving around town talking about this. That's when we went to have sushi. Yeah, you can't that's be telling people about that. <laughs> that's when we went to have sushi. Yeah. Okay, so mm. we were talking about. Were we talking about heartbreak? Um, I don't even know how we got to that because that conversation. I, we was talking about um just breaking people's hearts, and you were like, <gasps> "Oh, yeah, right," because I did. I asked you some questions pertaining to past situations, yeah, and, and I was like, I don't give a damn. Yeah. right. And then I asked you, "Do you think you've ever broken anybody's heart?" And my first initial answer was, "Fuck no," right, because. I didn't break anybody's heart. I he, didn't. he just he just feels like that he did. Let me let me let me say the thing though. Here's the full question: Have you ever broken someone's heart? If so, how did you know slash found out or find out that you did? Um, and then also, have you ever been on the receiving end of getting your heart broken? And did you tell that person that broke your heart, or did you just leave it at you were heartbroken? See, see, see. To me, that's a tricky question because you said, "Have I ever been on the end of having my heart broken, mm-hmm. or have I done it?" Let's start with the first part. Yes. Have you ever broken someone's heart? From my, <laughs> and I'll if so, did did you find did they, did they tell you that you broke their heart or did you never? No, it's never been I, a thing. see, see, I, like I said, when I first said, it, I said no, I didn't break anybody's heart. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I was a straight up guy. I, you know what I mean? I gave people chances. You know, I I wasn't shallow. I wasn't a a dick. Like how he was like, you're a dick. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I didn't lead people on. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it so far. Nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. What, what bullshit you about to say? Go ahead. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Le- <laughs> I didn't lead people on. I gave, like I said, I gave people chances. So nobody was never ever like, mm. oh, you broke my heart. Um, Why did you, do, you do this to me? Yeah. So I, I, to me, I don't feel like. So I as did. far as you know, you've never broken anyone's heart. Um. You oh, don't count. yeah, she don't count. <laughs> Why is it that she don't count? I feel like she don't count because I feel like from what you've told me, yeah, she wasn't really like in the relationship because there was always like a reasoning or an excuse someone told her that she shouldn't do or whatever the case may have been. Um 
it, it was a bad thing to do. Basically, like the whole relationship was like bad to do. Basically, right. So she wasn't really in a relationship. She was in a situationship that didn't actually have any situations. So that's why I say it doesn't actually count. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, did you didn't have sex with her? No. Right. So I mean, what else? happened nothing like yeah so it was, like it was sl- that's why i say like y'all didn't do anything like it didn't go anywhere because even like kissing was like bad don't do that you feel what i'm saying right 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 it was always something like reason or excuse behind like being in a relationship but while being in a relationship can't do anything because everything is bad so is that mm. actually a relationship not mm. really mm. Right. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean that you couldn't have broke her heart, but I just feel like that don't count because it was a really odd situation. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Like, like uh, it wasn't really a relationship. It just was called that. Right, right, right. I'd but you, but you, but you saying that it's like it that's makes your perspective. My perspective of your perspective. Yes, <laughs> but but you saying that I. I <laughs> I was saying it about all my relationships. Uh, <laughs> they was all situations. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say that, but okay, go ahead. Oh, ooh, okay. Mm. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. No, go no, no. Wh- what? I wasn't the one talking. You just was about to say something. I s- was I? Okay. So anyway, um, so right. So he said, he said that, and then I was like, yeah, that don't necessarily count. But then we furthered the conversation, and I said, well, how do you... Because he was very outside of that one yes that we just spoke about. He was very firm in, no, I've never broken anyone's heart. And I said, well, how are you so sure that you've never broken anybody's heart if no one ever told you that you broke their heart? Right. Like, how do you know that, like, in previous relationships, like, outside of me, we've had that conversation before. We know Multiple my times. heart was broke. Yeah, so we're we not talking about me. We're talking about anybody before me. Um, right. But how do you know, like... You didn't do something in your relationships to then cause that broke that broke their heart that may have caused them to retaliate to try and break your heart because um and I don't necessarily mean like it had to be as uh as intense as like cheating or abuse like Mm -hmm. physical abuse or but maybe like somewhere within a relationship maybe somebody had a goal that they wanted to achieve and they couldn't achieve it for whatever reasoning and you were like just give it up (laughs) and you know like you be not i'm not saying that you did that i'm just saying like if that were like a scenario and you were like just give up because you like you like let's just say you were like you're trash at that particular thing but okay so and I'll go ahead and that you saying that broke their heart because you're supposed to be like their significant other in a relationship you're supposed to be supportive of what they're doing and you were the complete opposite it could have broke their heart i'm just saying as a scenario i'm not saying you did that i'm about to i'm about to debunk that scenario because it's not that for you to debunk it's just that it could have been something like that I'm not saying it was that. I'm just saying, what if somebody did have something they were trying to do? And maybe you said something not intentionally, like, um, not intentionally, no, like I, trying I, to I be mean or saying. or or anything like that. It just was something that kind of like you said, right. not thinking too deeply into it, and oh. maybe that you know it could have been something that hurt them to that you know to their core because you don't know how passionate they were about it or. You know what I'm saying? Like in that scenario, I'm not necessarily again. I'm not saying that that's what you did. I know because I wasn't that type of guy. I you can be the, you can be the worst person in the world at what you're doing, and I would be like, "Girl, you killing it!" <laughs> so go ahead and get that. Well, go you know, see, now it. that makes me question you as a person because have you ever done that to me? No, 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 no. I'm s- no. What I'm saying is the fact that. <laughs> Um, the, ch- the cheer on type of person. I don't want you to cheer me on. If I'm not good, I want you to tell me. So that's why I'm like questioning. You're like, I'm not that person. Like, I'm not going to tell you you suck. No, if I suck, tell me I suck. Well, that, so now well, I'm questioning, no, have no, you ever but, cheered me on on something that you feel like I suck on? No. I mean, no, I know I, when I suck, but <laughs> it's still <laughs> it's still a little different when somebody else say it. What I'm, what I'm saying is I'm not that, I'm not saying, first of all, 
I'm not saying that I'm not that that type of person. I'm just the type of person that's just going to be there for you no matter what. And I'm going to tell you about yourself like, yo, maybe you should try it this way because it ain't no, working. No, you're not. You're such a liar, bro. You are completely opposite. You are actually the person that tells somebody they're trash. You're, 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 what? hold on. Yeah. Yeah. You're very, you are very reckless at the mouth. You're and we've right. had this conversation right. before. I'm, and I'm reckless at the mouth. You swear up and down, like you weren't that person. You got like that, like you finally opened up and yada, 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 all that bullshit. Nah, bro. You've been that person. How You've you, been very reckless at the how mouth. How you know I've been very reckless at my house? My because house. I don't think, <laughs> I don't, I don't necessarily think that that's a trait that you develop. <laughs> I think that that's some shit that has to be in you already because developing recklessness I feel like comes. I feel like it. it comes. <laughs> because, you know what? You might be the fuck right. I might have broken some goddamn hearts because you know what? I remember First this of one. All, th- watch your mouth. I'm sorry because I remember this one time that that one of my exes was trying to do something. I was just like, "That's that's just not you. Don't no. You don't even not. Nah, that's not gonna happen. Yeah. Like that's not gonna happen. But to me. How is that breaking your heart? Because some people don't want to hear that they're trash at something. So you want like for me, I want you to tell me if you think I'm trash. Yeah, at something. but you're a pit bull. But no, I I also know when I suck at something. Like, when do you suck at something? Like, uh, what was I trying to do? And I was like, no, I'm actually kind of trash at this. I don't know. I don't can't remember what it is. But I'm okay being trash at certain things. You feel me? Like I'm okay being trash. I'm not good at everything. Like I feel that. But some people like they believe like they're good at stuff. And then, like, they're not. I get but that. But they don't like to hear that. Like, they won't. They don't want people to tell them like you're trash. But then you 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 grow up in this world where you're like, you can keep practicing, and practice makes better. No, I I actually agree. I know that yeah, it's so not like a good trait to have. I'm just saying. Sometimes people don't like to hear. Like, if there's people that believe that they can sing, and then they sing, and it's like, we need auto tune. They uh, don't uh, want auto tune. They want acapella. And that's not going to work. But they don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? So if somebody told them, like, you suck, maybe you should pick a different career. They gonna not be different genre, like different career. They're going to sometimes that would break somebody's heart because they they love doing that. They're really passionate about it, whether they suck or don't suck. And so you might have said, like, like you said, mm, no, that ain't for you. No, that ain't for and you. And even even if it were like you being nice while saying it, it could still be like, you, wait. damn, like, dang. You really think I was reckless at the mouth? I think you're. I mean, you're reckless at the mouth now. I don't like. I said, I don't necessarily think that that's a trait that you just develop. <laughs> I think that should gotta be in you. I think all areas are reckless at the mouth, though. Yeah, you're pretty reckless. Yeah, I, all the areas that I know are reckless at the mouth. You're very reckless. I'm not reckless. I'm what? Not reckless. I'm not reckless at the mouth. I just don't filter myself. That's not recklessness. So what's so what's recklessness? Just rude. Oh, so you're saying I'm a rude person? Yes, I've told you that before. Yeah, and I don't agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, point blank period. I just don't agree with you calling me rude. That's fine. You don't have to agree, but that's my perspective of the outside looking in. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I am not rude. Listen, you don't. You be what you want to be to yourself. I'm just letting you know. See, there's a dude, see, there's a dip. stop. <laughs> There's a difference between being rude and you you not gonna talk to me any type of way. No, no, no. I'm totally the the day, no. I'm listen, fucking, I'm totally, yeah. I'm totally for that because I'm that way too. Like, I don't let people talk recklessly to me because I choose not to talk recklessly to people. I can, but I choose not to. Mm-hmm. Um, but you, on the other hand, you, <sighs> I have no filter, but I'm also not disrespectful when i tell people certain things right right right, right. you on the other hand you are it doesn't I, matter to I'm you disrespectful yes it doesn't matter to you it does like nothing matters to you i know plenty of areas that are the same way it just so, doesn't matter so we're supposed to coddle people's feelings i didn't say coddle I, anything all i'm saying is you ain't got to be disrespectful to tell someone your opinion because really that's what it be D- disrespectful Huh? <laughs> Me? Yes. I'm not disrespectful. Yes, you are. 
like you you have a habit of like talking down to people. You always tell me that. But yeah. is it is it <laughs> sounds like a you problem. <laughs> 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 no, but I'm like see I I think that this is the problem with the world right now. Because if you feel like I'm talking to you, not not you, yeah. you know what I mean, but if if you feel like I'm talking down to you, then you need to level your ass up because, what? <laughs> because I'm not talking down to you. <laughs> I'm fucking talking to you, bruh. You know what I mean? Whoa. Yeah, I'm talking to you. And no, if, no, no, and if it, no, 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 no. I've seen you talk to people, and I've seen you talk at people, and I've seen you talk down to people. What is talking down to somebody? Disrespect. <laughs> How is it like dis- if I was one of the people that I've heard you talk down to, bro? You gonna have to meet me in the street. Who you mean talk down to? Like you gotta meet me in the street. Like you get disrespectful. Like there's no, um, you. There's no. <sighs> there's just no like respect. I don't even want to. I don't want to necessarily say like there's no respect. I just feel like there's no. It's just rude when you don't have to be like the people aren't rude to you. Like they're not disrespecting you. They're not like diminishing your character or anything like that. But you're just rude when you're just rude. Like you could be telling somebody something, right? Like. Anybody, we get even. <laughs> what the fuck is that laugh? <laughs> because there's been plenty of times where, like, you're talking to one of my siblings, right? Right. And it could be like the younger two, like my little brother or my little sister. Really, any of the younger ones. We can even just the younger ones in general, right? That's my younger than you. Nephews, sister, brother, okay, brothers, like, and they'll say something, and you'd be like, "How do you not know that?" Okay. And I'm like, bro, okay, like, damn, we, 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 they. Okay. How are they supposed to know that? I like, get, they didn't learn that. Okay, I get that part, but but then you continue. It it doesn't just stop there. What, so it keeps going. Like you continue saying stuff to them as if they're. You say it like. It's my you 12th should time. you sh- no you say it like you should know this. Stop being so effing dumb. Why are you so effing dumb? Like that's the sentiment around the words, the the stuff that you be saying. How to are people. we here right now? Um, because. We were talking about the recklessness of your mouth and how that could be, ha- could have led to heartbreak to maybe well, like a past relationship well, of yours whole, or just anybody. Well, really. there's a bunch of heartbreaks going on right now <laughs> 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 because I'm not going to I'm not going to not talk how I talk. because. But it's so funny that you say that because in the past you've had a hard time with me having a harsh tone with you. <laughs> no. Because I want you to break my heart. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even, and I've never been it's mean you, to you. No, I've never you, been mean to you. I've always tried to explain things to you. And then you try to rebuttal me back. And it's like, this isn't even a rebuttal type conversation. I'm just telling, was that lightning? Yeah. I'm just telling you my perspective, like my opinion on it. And you get, and because you get offended by it, yeah, no, because you you. get, no, because you get offended by what I'm saying. You're like, oh, like you just get this, like, Uh you go into defense mode. Yeah, because you try to make me feel like I'm dumb. I never try to make anybody feel like they're dumb. If you feel like you're dumb, that's because you feel that way. That has nothing to do with what I'm saying, though. So don't say bigger words that I don't understand. How am I supposed to know that you don't know what integrate means? I'm just using (laughs) Well, first of all, I know what integrate means. I'm, I'm just, just saying, saying. I'm just saying. When you say these damn words, it just makes me feel this big, and I'd be like, "Well, but damn, are you trying to diminish my? my because you're rude. Because you're rude no, as no, a person." No, no. First of all, Laquisha is not rude. If you ask Second, ten no, no, people, no. if you ask ten people, they're gonna tell you straight out that you're. Rude. I'm one of the nicest people they've ever met. With a rude attitude. No, never. <laughs> no, never. Never. Bruh. Never. Bruh. If I've been mean to you, it's because you deserved it. <gasps> really? Yeah. So Any, just, anybody that I've ever met and became friends with, you know what they say about me? Before I knew you, I thought you were mean. Right. And I would say, why? And they'd be like, I don't know. You just like look like you're mean. And I'm like, well, that's pretty fucked up. Like, you've already placed me into a category that isn't even fair i'm i'm really actually very very nice i'm very welcoming also but 
because you were scared and you placed judgment on me, you felt like I was supposed to be this type of way. The only people that I've been mean to in my entire life were people that deserved to be mean to. They deserved that energy from me. Other than that, I'm never mean to people. Yeah, but you still talk down to people. Even people I don't like, I'm not mean to. <laughs> I know that. So, I don't no, I don't have a reckless mouth. Anyway, back to the conversation. So, what I was saying was because you have this reckless mouth and this very rude attitude at times because it's not all the time yeah but i say how do we how do i change that you just have to be more aware of what of, <laughs> of <people>. look look <laughs> of that was like straight defense mode of all i said was be more aware but i'm saying of what but you see how he was like, of what like <laughs> damn <laughs> golly hey, man it's the east coast in me no okay? hell no that ain't no damn east new york coast people, you. You, you ain't from first. new york i'm not saying i'm not from new york i'm saying i'm not saying i'm from new york what i'm saying is east coast nigga and shut it, up and if you go no. to the east coast no. they're gonna look at you be like what the fuck are you talking about uh, but no that's not true she only 19 man what you talking about anyway um Go ahead. Yeah, so what I was just saying is that I feel like because you have always possessed this recklessness of the mouth, that it definitely could have caused heartbreak to someone without your knowledge. Okay, you might be right. Um, and then we definitely know of one for sure a uh, situation where you broke someone's heart. Yo, you going it's really thundering. I know, but I'm saying. What's, <gasps> what's crazy? It's thundering, but bro. Was that my fault though? Yes. How was that my fault? Okay, so let me explain the situation to y'all. Oh, so Oh shit. Okay, so we met in college, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um I was in the baking and pastry uh program and he was in the film program. Right. Um I didn't know he existed. See? I See, no, I rude. didn't. I didn't know you existed. You I didn't know a lot of people. I didn't personal. know anybody really. I didn't know anybody existed outside. Actually, there was only one person that I talked to that was not part of my program, and that was Ease. He was one of the first people that I met at the school. Right. Um, Shout out to Ease. And right, and that was because he was giving out his album. Uh huh. Power. Which was movement. so crazy. I remember Taisha fell in love with that album. I mean, it was a good she ass was like, oh album. Oh my god, he's so dope. So anyway, go ahead. Um. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I didn't really know anybody outside of my program existed. I had my friends, and that was it. Right. Um, and he knew I existed, apparently. He's claimed that he's seen me. Yep. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Walking um, around the school with a man, <laughs> holding a man's hand and everything. Holding a man's hand? You was holding his hand. Who? That boy had you on the leash. Who? <laughs> You know who we talking about. Give me a letter. <laughs> what? <laughs> <A lot of. laughs> Nigga, please. Really? Don't even don't do that. He was he on a leash. The no, no, fuck no, 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 do no, you think this mean, is? No, I didn't mean like that. Like if I, anything, that nigga was on a leash. Fuck out of here. What are you talking about? What I was trying to say. What are you talking about? Yeah, he was please. Your hands. Like he had you like, you can't go nowhere, girl. He was, I don't recall. But anyway. Mm -hmm. Um so couldn't even wave at me because he was like, "Shh, don't you wave, nigga." This is what I'm talking about before <laughs> I even knew who you were. This is wild. <laughs> Niggas always coming with accusations. Anyway, oh, because I don't know that word. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I finally met him. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, we still hadn't even met. Let me tell you, and I don't know if I've ever told you this. So I remember one day, I think we were on a break in class it was either a break or it was class just ended and um i went to my locker because we had y'all didn't have lockers we did though <laughs> that's because you had to change our clothes yeah so we had lockers and i went to my locker i had a bottom locker which ew but anyway i remember like this chick was like standing next to my locker and i remember saying excuse me like a couple times and i don't know i guess i just wasn't really paying attention or whatever but Either she didn't hear me or she just didn't care to move. It never dawned on me until you told me who it was. And so. Who was it? Hold on. Okay. And so I go in my locker. I guess she thought she was holding my locker closed with her leg, but 
bitch, if you was really that bold, you would have threw something. You feel me? So. Drama? <laughs> because of you. What do you mean? Okay. So it wasn't until later, like months and months later, that I realized the girl that was in the same program as me that liked you was trying to cause some friction that day. What? <laughs> her and her homie was trying to cause friction that day. Really? Yes. I didn't know at the time, and it wasn't until way later when you told me who she was mm -hmm. that I put two and two together because the other chick had the same hairstyle as me. Oh, okay. Right. Right. And so. The friend. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, um, <clears throat> so we at this point, I don't even think we had, we hadn't even met yet when that happened. We hadn't even met yet. And I don't even know how you knew who I was, but we hadn't even met yet. But she, I guess, I don't know if you told her who I was. Told, or, you, told her. There you go. Flat out. Well, there you go. So that's why she had beef with me, that I, hidden beef. I didn't even know I had enemies. And I had enemies. I had enemies. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, so, yeah, so it wasn't until after we finally met and we're hanging out, because we didn't start dating right away. Yeah. Um, that I found out that yeah. this girl liked you, but you liked me, and she knew that, and she had beef with me. Because you gotta... Then go later on, yeah, you told me, and this, I think, at this point was maybe two years in, mm -hmm. that you told me that she, like, confessed her love for you, and you told her that, you know, like... No, nah, that wasn't that wasn't, that wasn't a the vibe. move. Yeah. That wasn't it. That's not what we was on. And you know, she felt some type of way. And I was like, ah. <laughs> but you also told me that she was like crying and whatnot. So yeah, you right. broke her fucking heart. Yeah, but and but, almost started some shit. How? But see, this is the thing, right? I don't understand about this with human beings. If you, if I am, um, about to use one of those words you always use, um, <laughs> straight up. I don't use straight <laughs> I'm just, up. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if I'm going to be like straight very up. Like, very forthcoming. If, very truthful. Very honest. truthful, honest yes. to you. Yes. That shit has nothing to do with me, what your feelings on how you feel about me. Because right. I already told you or what me. it is. Right. right. I already told you what it is, yo, that chick that's in I wish you had what do you mean? And I wish I was aware because I would have busted that head, that bitch head up I'm, against them lockers. But what I'm saying is the fact that um, somebody that's that's kind of like somebody trying to act like your friend just to get in your draws. Like yeah, we friends, and we I know you about to break up with your boyfriend, but I'm next on that list. And it's like, who said you was eat? Who who had you sign up to this intramural team? <laughs> you're not even on the list. Mm -hmm. Like you're not even. You don't even have the fortitude to get on this bag. Okay. You know what I mean? So that type of breaking somebody's heart, you can't, I don't know. Like I'm not necessarily saying that it's your fault that her heart was broken. Right. I'm just saying that you were the cause of her heartbreak. I like heartbreak. Right. <laughs> but I'm, but that's, that shit still don't make no sense to me. Let me tell you why it don't make no sense to me. Please. Me being truthful about who I like breaks your heart because you don't think it you breaks it breaks it breaks her heart because she wanted you that bad. It's thundering. Eh, fuck that <laughs> shit. Some, some, so, some demon type shit. I mean, I'm just saying, like, we know for sure that that was one instant instance where you did break someone's heart. Right. I mean, she but blatantly I, told you that you did. Right. But I feel like there's a whole bunch of. I, well, OK, let's say this. I feel like there's a whole bunch of women that I broke their heart, not knowing that I broke their heart because I was being truthful and honest with them. I mean, and that could very well be true. But how is that my problem? I didn't say it was your problem. 
I just was asking the question of had you ever broken someone's heart and you said no to your knowledge. Yeah, not to because my knowledge. Because outside of, again, that one particular female, you never were told that that was, you know, the thing. Like you had broke, oh, you broke my heart. Nobody ever said that to you. So you wouldn't know. Right. Um. You want to go to part two or you want no, me to answer? No, but I'm so, oh. yeah, I want you to answer. Like you don't think that you've. I know for a fact that I've broken people's hearts before. Okay. It was never intentional. I don't ever want to break someone's heart, but I also feel like, so what? I think you Not so what in the sense, like, I don't give a fuck, but so what? Like, I can't help. I can't be with you because you want me to be with you. We are not compatible. We do not mix. We do not have the same hustle. We do not have the same goals. We do not have the same ambition. And by goals and ambition, I simply mean, like, I'm willing to work for mine, and you want somebody to give you yours. Right, right, you right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, right. if we don't, like, if we not meshing in that way, why would I be with you? Because I feel like people think that they don't have any, that, and I, I strongly think that people think meshing and business meshing and on the same page meshing, meshing has anything to do with each other. Um, I think a lot of people think like that. Like, oh, yeah, we cool. I don't actually think people think about that at all. I, okay, yeah. yeah well, let's I don't, say that I don't, I don't think that people ever actually be like, oh, yeah, I want a woman with the same goals as me. And by the mm. same goals, I mean she's willing to do that, not that, anything, that, that. but she's willing to put in the work or right. he's willing to put in the work. Y'all don't have to have the same exact goal, but the fact is that you're willing to put in the work. Like, how is one, yo, one person is and one person isn't? Like, how does that work? But that's where that's where the problems come in, where people having kids with each other because they right. never have conversation right. about like, well, she doesn't clean up, and it's like she never cleaned up right or she doesn't cook or she doesn't cook she told you that in the beginning yeah. and you just weren't listening yeah right. so i don't cook right like, okay cool well can you cook me a meal i told you i don't cook or right. or him um i don't do that oh well my man don't do that well i told you i don't do that so what's the what's the problem yeah it's like the puppy love is gone the infatuation is gone you didn't went into a whole nother conversation. I know, but I'm just saying about um, <laughs> breaking hearts. So no, no, no. So so they are heart. So they start doing things in the relationship to break the other person's heart. Nobody. Like, I don't think people. Well, I wouldn't say that in that context. I feel like big words again. No, I just feel like in the context that you're speaking of, it's more of a a revenge plot on both sides, like. Oh, he doesn't take out the trash because it's just not something that he does. So I'm just not gonna do dishes. That I feel like that's not the same. That's not the conversation we're having. Mm -hmm. I feel like the conversation we're having is like your, and it doesn't even necessarily have to be. Why did like you change your voice? A relationship, like a romantic relationship. Mm -hmm. It could be like a friendship. You know what I'm saying? Or it could be like a family ship. I feel like you think any of your where friends you could got, get your heart broken. Well, so you got you think any of your friends broken your heart or you broke any of your friends' heart? Whoa, what was that face <laughs> well, for? Well, the first question you asked me is, have any of my friends broken my heart? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily say like broke my heart, but it was like why? Not even because I feel like I already <coughs> have seen it coming. So yeah. I, I guess it didn't it didn't get that deep for me. Okay. Do I think I've broken my some of my friends' hearts? Uh, I mean, if I did, we probably wouldn't be friends anymore. You think so? Yeah. I mean, I feel like if we out here breaking each other's hearts, we shouldn't be friends. You feel what I'm saying? Like, how are we breaking people's hearts and we friends? Like, that's sus. Because now how you moving? How am I supposed to trust you? If you if you feel like I broke your heart, like how we how you moving? It moving real sus. To me, that's that's a little sus. Right. So if so I've broken you, so if I've broken a friend's heart, <laughs> anybody other, if I've broken your heart, like how do you but but how two do you, step away. Yeah, but <laughs> but but then you, you that's where you get them fake friends at. 
that's gonna talk shit behind your back or right. what? Be like, yeah, we cool, but I don't fuck with her like that. Right? You know what I mean? Because you don't know that you broke their heart. That's what you I'm saying, though. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't, I don't. If if I've if I have any fake friends, which I really only have three three people that I consider a friend, and those three people, if I have any issue with them. I say it. And for the most part, it's always been like that just between the relationship. I've had arguments with my, like, full-blown arguments with my friends. Yeah, I know. So, I mean, but it's never in a, we don't disrespect each other Mm. in those arguments. We may be like, girl, you stupid. But Mm -hmm. it never goes as far as, like. Bitch, I'd knock your ass out. Yeah, we not arguing like that. It's, like, friendly argument. Like, we really telling each other about how we feel about whatever is happening. But let me ask you a question. In those instances, do you think they, they heart was broken because of that? No. No, because it's always ended in a sense of, like, this is because I love you. It's never because I'm jealous or I'm feeling this type of way or, damn, I wish I had this, that, and the third. Because if we've ever, we've had conversations where it's like, I wish I was in this position or you in this position, you should be grateful that you're in this position. Do you know what I'm saying? It's never come from a negative place. It's never from a place of jealousy. It's never from a place of like envy, none of that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm pretty good at calling that type of shit. Like I said, I seen that last relationship. I saw that coming. Friendship. You know what I'm talking about? The other best friend. That's no longer the best. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 yeah. I, I saw that coming, so it's it wasn't like I said. I'm I think I'm pretty good at seeing when shit is starting to shift. Shift, yeah. Um, but I think that was with all y'all, right? Because it is. none of us are. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We don't. It's just not none? there. No. no. Mm-mm. Really? Mm-mm. Wow. Yeah. So. Um, Damn. Yeah. So as far as friends, I don't, I would hope, like I said, I have three people that I call my, literally it's three people. They're my sisters. They're not even friends at this point. Um, I would hope that I've never broken their heart because that's never been my intention. You know what I'm saying? I would, I would, I genuinely hope I'm never breaking someone's heart. Being honest with them. um, And no, they've never broken. (laughs) I mean. (laughs) Yeah. No Uh, heart bandit. (laughs) I, it's not that I don't have a heart. It's just I'm very self-aware. I'm going to make you a shirt with a heart, but it's going to be a, like a whole glass around it. Like, nigga, whoa. You're childish. But um, relationship-wise, I know I've broken at least two hearts. But like I said, it's never intentional. It's just I have to do what's best for me. Um, I don't, well. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Wolf. What the hell? I don't. <laughs> I don't know if outside of that, um, um, yeah, uh, outside of those relation, romantic relationships, situationships, mm-hmm. um, I've had, <laughs> I've had people that. Um, What's up with the deep? I was thought, talking geez. to because <laughs> what? What the hell? I've had that? people that I've talked to, uh-huh. um, been like in communication with, and they've approached me later on, like, "Oh, you want to go out?" And I'm like, oh, "I got a boyfriend." You know what I'm saying? Like, or like, or we got together? Oh, I'm, huh? Or we got together? Or yeah. Yeah. Um, Never told me this. Yes, I did. Mm. The dude from New York. Oh, yeah. He, you know. First, why? <laughs> what is that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, chill. Um, <laughs> and then the one guy from school, remember? When he was trying to talk to me, we were together at that point. And I kind of was like, remember, I was like, tell him to come upstairs. <laughs> and you was there. <laughs> Like I don't. I, said, I wouldn't necessarily know. Like I wouldn't go as far as like breaking his heart. Maybe a little you, disappointed, but you broke his heart. I don't know if like his heart. I was think broken. he came upstairs with no drawers on. That's nasty. <laughs> 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 I 
that's nasty. <laughs> I've never seen nobody come up the steps that fast. I've never seen anybody come up the stairs with a vest and <laughs> basketball shorts either, but it happened. <laughs> I, had a vest and basketball. I will never forget that shit because I was like, huh? <laughs> Bruh. But anyway, he was probably balling. Was like, they put the that's vest on. That's nasty. But anyway, outside of I don't I, like I said two for sure I know, um, but again it was because it was honestly what was best for me, mm-hmm. um, in in those particular moments, and I think that that's fair. Well, three if you want to count, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah. <laughs> you think that's a broken heart? I'm talking about me. Yeah. I know. <laughs> the fuck the heart was broken. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, that's if fuck. You ever <laughs> you ever almost died from a broken heart? Never. I almost did. <laughs> Man. Yeah. No. That shit hurt. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I like the way that you pointed at me. Like. <laughs> I'm just saying. Mm. Uh, and, and you. Okay, so on the flip side, have you ever been, since we're there already, have you ever been on the receiving end Fuck of heartbreak? And did you tell that person how were, if or how did they become informed of the heartbreak? Like, and how many times have you been heartbroken? I'm just curious. Uh, I would say maybe twice twice you've been heartbroken and and i would say like disappointed like really like what the hell i would say like so one real heartbreak and then one like disappointed heartbreak yeah i get what you mean yeah <coughs> i mean we already talked about my real heartbreak do we yeah with you oh are you talking about outside of you well, no, 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 no. I no. knew that's what I knew you yeah, were counting no, I, that. I, I, like I said, I've never felt like that ever with anybody about being hurt. Like, changed my whole mood. Now, if anybody else, my mood didn't change. It was more on the strength of like, well, that's stupid. That was a wa- I looked at it as like that was a waste of time. If you was going to do that, then I, you know what I mean. I could have saved these six months. Some more pissed off at yourself, like heartbroken within self. Yeah, because than somebody like, else. Yeah, because yeah. I always told you that anytime I dated somebody, <laughs> it was more on the strength of like they want to talk to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It wasn't all no like yo, I'm trying to get the goat. I'm trying to. I've done that before. What? Been with somebody because they wanted to be with me. Right. I, shit. Er- Damn near everybody I've been with is because they wanted to be with me. And I like, I like, we had this conversation about not being shallow and being like, oh, well, you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't do, yeah. So for me, it was like, could have, you could have saved all that and then yeah. waste, you wasted my time. Right. You know what I mean? So it wasn't a heartbreak. I didn't stop eating. I didn't, you know what I mean? I wasn't crying. I wasn't doing oh. none of that shit. It was? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are you laughing for? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> what, what the fuck because you, you said you didn't stop eating, so it just in my head <laughs> triggered like Oh yeah, with you, I stopped eating. I was crying. I listened to August <laughs> Alcina. Shit, I was going through emotional distress. I, I'm being real with the people. Like I don't d- listen. <laughs> if you got a good woman, treat her the fuck right. And be honest because you don't want to end up like me. Like I lost like forty pounds in like mm-hmm. a month. Mm-hmm. You know, like, and I didn't have no appetite. Every August Alcina song was talking to me. <laughs> um, I don't even think I listened to Chris Brown. Every Usher song was talking <laughs> about me. Um, I would literally just sit in the fucking, <laughs> bro, let me tell you this. I used to sit in, I used to, <laughs> when I used to listen to the August Alcina song, right, I used to sit in the shower and just be like, <laughs> acting out like the and i just was so distressed i just so hurt like what like no 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 this is not real like i felt like every day i was just waking up to a nightmare like this is not happening this is not happening you know what i mean so anybody else it just was like 
like the what uh, like the Waka Flocka face like oh yeah like really like okay you wasted my time like bye you know what I mean but I but the problem was is the fact that I still and I tell you you know I, I still felt sorry for them as people and I will you felt sorry for them because they broke up with because you broke up with them I'm confused what did you feel sorry for I felt sorry for them because they thought they were doing something <laughs> you know what I mean it's like you, <laughs> you a McDonald's piece trying to stunt on sushi from a from a high class show yeah it's like a McDonald's yeah, because it's like you own because it's like somebody giving you a McDonald's sandwich. If somebody don't eat if somebody don't like McDonald's, they're like, Well shit, it was free. You know what I mean? Damn. I'm being real. That's so it's like you so, shit. No, I mean it's the truth. Cause so it's like you walking around because some you it was so easy for them. You think that you you think you doing something? Yeah. You think you you high class because somebody's giving you a little bit of ding dang because you think that you because you're easy you ain't no Ooh. high you know what i mean like you ain't no high no no <laughs> no high catch you ain't no i gotta put in work to get to you you yeah. ain't no you ain't nothing special about you yeah so that's why i said i felt sorry for them because i was just like okay like yeah. Not 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 knocking who I am as a person, but shit, I was not trying to like boast up. Yeah, not. Nah, but I'm. S- hey, look, listen. Hey, hey, hey. Like, yeah. okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like I should have. I should have said no. Don't come to my room. You, I'm good. Don't text me. Yeah. No, you can't use my meal card. Bitches was hungry. Hungry. <laughs> Look at my face. I'm weak. <laughs> he said, "No, you can't use my meal card." Yeah, like what the fuck? Oh gosh. You know what I mean? So that's why. So yeah, so my, like I said, my heart like this, this like we had we had this conversation for a very long time. <laughs> we had this conversation for a very long time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And like I said, you're the first woman that I actually was like, whoo, whoo. I know. I mean, I'm great. I'm great. I, I mean, I do believe that I am great. <laughs> not that I'm not flawed, but I am great. Yeah. I just, you know, I did wonder, like, how do you see someone and literally tell your best friend, like, that's the rest of your life right that's there? It's the rest of my life. I saw it. But and then the, fuck it all up at the same because time. Because I didn't know who I was and I was looking. Yeah. We already had this conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But t- to be, because you got to think, I was, um, when I first started film school, I was, I was down the road of like being free of being like oh, I'm not fucking with y'all like you know what I mean like I'm gonna do my thing this is what I wanted always wanted to do mm-hmm. and I'm gonna go do it mm-hmm. so when I met Sanders I was still in that wavelength of like because when I first moved to Vegas like I said I wasn't talking to people back at home mm-hmm. because it was more on the strength of like when you going out there are you going out there on the ninth cool let me buy my plane ticket because I can't I can't be around this no more mm-hmm. you know so. Mm-hmm. You know, you get people inching in your fam. You get people inching in your life like, oh, well, how's it going out there? You mm-hmm. start talking and you thinking that they're on your side, but they really just nosy. Mm-hmm. And they still trying to just pl- implant their wrongdoings into you because they still feel like they, they have something over you. Yeah. So, yeah, I was, I, was, I was on the strength of like, yeah, that's going to be her. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Booyah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, ugly for that. so yeah, so uh, I yes, so hold up, I think I I think I might. <coughs> yeah, there's a few that I've that I've definitely broken hearts. I just thought of one. Who? Um, the zoo. Mm. 
exactly. I just was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, because you definitely let her know. Yeah, it was probably a, yeah. But do you think she was heartbroken? Or just like, what the fuck? I think she was heartbroken. Really? Yeah. Why did she stop talking to you? That and, you know, when people comment on certain pictures, like, mm. <laughs> like smart comments, like, mm, okay. Like, family members that you cool with, family members is commenting on everything. Like, mm, I, you you hurt my cousin's heart. Like, Oh, her family members? Yeah, family members was commenting on everything. Oh. Deleting me, trying to add me, deleting me, adding me, looking at, like, it was ridiculous. Oh, yeah, that's pitiful. Yeah, so I, that's one. Wow. Yep. Wow, that's really pitiful. Wow. wow. But then you, but do you, then you gotta think about the ones, the delusional heartbreaks, where people think it's something bigger than what it actually was, and they be like. Yeah, that's that's the chick that didn't really want to smoke with me. That was a delusional heartbreak for her. You think? <laughs> Fuck yeah, that bitch was psycho. <laughs> like, bitch, this nigga was never yours. Is that Big Bertha? <laughs> nah, not that bitch. The other bitch. The bitch that we went to school with. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, that shit was mad. It was, it was, mad, delusional. was mad delusional. It was right. mad delusional because she knew what it was. Yeah. And yeah. what it wasn't. So yeah, because I I was f- like I was full. Bl- I'm talking to her about you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, so she was, she was, she was big mad at me. Like I did something. I didn't even know who you were. Yeah. And then she was mad at you. Sad at you because of you. I don't fucking know, but yeah, that bitch was mad delusional. Like, yeah, I was like, you know her. Yeah. Now nah, I don't know her. Well, you need to get to know her because I need those digits. <laughs> And I'm going to find those digits. Yeah, you almost got somebody busted up. That's, that's fine. crazy. That's fine. No, it's all not is, fine because all, I'm not, I ain't got time is, for that shit. All is war. Like, how listen, you being, how you listen, being a whole, hold, hold on, up, how you in a up. whole college institute want to start beef with somebody over a whole dude that they don't even know exists? Like, bitch, you sound crazy. You sound the fuck crazy. And you older than me. Like, bitch, you sound real, like, mental. Like I said. That's all, like real life mental. Like, bitch, I'm 18 years old. The fuck? Is wrong with you, hoes. I mean, you could have got you could have got a couple dudes hurt, but I wasn't paying nobody no attention. You thought you wasn't, but by, by no, you saying I wasn't by you saying hey, I never said how hey. you doing. I never said hey. I didn't speak to anybody. Actually, did not speak. I spoke to one person. Who? Charles. That oh, was the only person. I, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's the only person I ever actually spoke to. What do you mean actually spoke to? Just had real conversation with. Oh yeah. Yeah, he like so two people. Him and Ease were the, him and Ease were really the only two people that I spoke to outside of culinary. Right. Like actually. Yeah. I didn't talk to nobody. Hersh baby. <laughs> they would always tell, "Oh, hey, you new here? You, what the fuck does it look like?" Rude. <laughs> that's not like come on, like people don't use their brain. I don't, that's don't a, like that's don't a, fucking talk to me but like that's we're a not conversation friends, bro. starter. Not for me. For me, it was like, why the fuck are you talking to me? Mm. Like, I told you that one dude winked at me. He was like, don't fucking <laughs> wink at me, weirdo. Like, the fuck is wrong with you? Hey. <laughs> like, you're weird. And then you wink and then you smile. Like, you're a creep, bro. Like, why are you looking at me? Oh, my God. Are That's you- not conversation start. Like, any real bitch is going to be like, fuck is wrong with your eye? Mm. She ain't going to be like, oh, hey. No, she's going to be like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> All right, so you got, are you going to read the ones from Facebook? Um. <laughs> well, I didn't answer my part about being oh, heartbroken, oh, but it's good. okay. We ain't no, gotta no, go no, there. no, 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 no. We gonna go there. We no. gonna go there. No, I've never been heartbroken, ever. <sighs> Outside of you, okay. okay. But nah, hell no. Nah. Ain't no nigga back in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tony Braxton. Um, where the hell was the? Oh, hold on. So we had. Two people give little backstories. <laughs> <laughs> Full blown backstories. I wish we had the people to like interpret, like, <laughs> do so, like <laughs> um, a friend of mine, L'Oreal. Shout out to her. Shout out. That's like lifelong friend, actually. Like, we've known each other since we were like five, six years old. The fuck is wrong with you? You didn't see that? No, lighting up there is jumping like <laughs> Destiny Show. No, because my back is turned. Okay, go ahead. Um, so she said 
that she's had her heart broken twice. She says she literally, um, like she legit thought she was going to die from a broken heart. Mm, I know so, that feeling. <laughs> right. So I was, well, I don't know that feeling, but, um, so I asked her, I said, well, did the person know like they, that they broke your heart, either one or both? And she said, um, she didn't exactly tell the first person word for word. She said, but based on their relationship and what he did, he knew he broke her heart. She said, and the second one, she said she definitely told him. She said, I cried it to him, screamed it to him, everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I said, oh, okay. I said, so interesting. I said, did either one of them ever apologize? Um, or was it like not that type of situation? Mm -hmm. Uh, and she said they both apologized multiple times. Wow. But she said the first person she said she felt like she still holds a grudge against because it was her first love. Mm. Um, she said and the other person she forgave them. She said she loved them more, but they're still actually cool to this day. Oh. Um. And then, so I mean, we can talk about that a little bit. Because I feel like when people break other people's hearts, do they know that they're breaking people's hearts? I don't hearts? think so. Because they all, because unless you guys, they do it maliciously. Unless it's a situation where there's no way in hell you don't know that you broke someone's heart. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Because you got the, you got the, the you of, you. Yeah, I'm doing it for what's best for me. So, <laughs> if I break your heart, I break your heart. Well, I never said I didn't care that I was breaking people's hearts, but I also can't be so concerned mm -hmm. because that was never, that's never the intent. You know what I'm saying? But to piggyback off what you said about that, mm -hmm. if they had, to, if they apologized, that means they didn't know at all. Like, oh shit, I'm sorry I didn't hurt, I'm sorry I hurt you. Not necessarily, though. Really? I feel like I feel like you can apologize for doing something to someone and genuinely mean it mm -hmm. um, because you could have been in a different season in your life. Right. Because who says that that apology came right away? Right. Um, because I feel like I think that like sometimes we're immature. And although we know right from wrong, we don't really give a fuck about right or wrong. And mm -hmm. we do what we want to do. Right, right, right. Um, and like I said, later on, we may come to our senses like, damn, that was really fucked up what I did to that person. Like, she was good to me. Let That's me, true. like, I'm going to apologize because I know I shouldn't have done that. I knew I shouldn't have done it when I did it. Right. But now that I'm older and I see my faults and maybe you've been in that position now, mm -hmm. you're able to even see further, like, damn, that was fucked up. Right, right, right. You know, but then I do feel like, too, sometimes you do things and you don't necessarily know that you're breaking someone's heart. And you never actually find out. Until they oh, say no, it. No, you just never find out. But then also there's times where you don't know that you're breaking someone's heart and then they tell you and then you're like, <laughs> fuck, like that was never my intention. <laughs> I apologize because I didn't want to hurt you, especially not like that. What about the instance on you just living your life and you just breaking somebody's heart I think every you're just, single time? I just think you're a fucked up human being and you're going to get yours in the end. Whoa, what do you mean? You say you just living your best life and you just breaking people's hearts. Like you knowingly are out here just no, fucking off no, people. No, 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 no. You knowingly not, you know, you don't know that you're breaking somebody's heart. Like, let's, like, let's take your case for a second. Why you got to take me? I'm just saying, because you're a beautiful person. And there's a bunch of people that probably wanted you in their life, right? I don't know. Whoa. Let's say there was, was right? Uh-huh. And then they're like, she's going to have my first baby. Boom, you have a baby. Not by that person. Their heart is broken. Oh, well, shit. I'm going to get with her. She's going to have my next baby. Boom, you have another baby. And then you're like, oh, so shit. So what exactly is it that you're trying to say? What about those people in life? When that you, are living their life, but other people want that life with that person. <laughs> but you're breaking their hearts. That's like, none of my concern, <laughs> though. <laughs> like you have a whole. That's platform. one of those delusional heartbreaks. <laughs> but I'm saying you have a whole <laughs> platform of like, say you got, say your Facebook friends with like 20 people, right? Well, 
200 people, right? Mm -hmm. And out of 200 people, you went to school with like 50 of them, right? Mm -hmm. Out of those 50 people, 10 of those dudes, 10 of those people that we went to school with are 10 dudes that wanted a chance at you and was like, yeah, when I get the chance, I'm going to get that. And then you live in your life, you're posting pictures of but your baby. But out of all 10 of those men... All of them did not want a chance with me that badly. So let's take it down to like two. Oh, okay. So let's take two. So I'm just saying because so that's not even realistic. It is for your fine ass. Um, <laughs> so it's oh for God. two. So for you got two dudes. So you mean to tell me you don't oh. know ten dudes in your school that you went to high no. school that was like, no. Yeah, let me talk to you. No. Five. No. You got to think, dude. When I went to school, I went to school and I went home. So five, so five dudes didn't know you. I don't know, honestly. Right. I can't even tell you. Like I, the people that I knew were the people that I had classes with and that I spoke to. Most of those people were the same people from tenth grade to twelfth grade. Right. So you don't think out of those tenth grade to twelfth grade people, you didn't have five guys that was like, yeah, I am. If I had the chance, I'd rock that. I don't know. I can honestly tell you that because from my standpoint, I never looked at anybody further than being my friend so if they felt like that they never showed it maybe because i never showed any interest in them so it doesn't make that right i don't know <laughs> i'm so confused right now. but anyway so you breaking hearts all every year i don't you putting big cages up you put you and you i and mean i feel like stop following me if if your heart is breaking because I'm not going to stop living my life because you secretly have some type of love, affection, obsession with me. Okay, so I, I make another page, and you don't know who I am on this page. Now you're stalking <laughs> me, and I should report you to the authorities. <laughs> like, actually. Hey, man. I believe that's what happens. I have been stalked multiple times. Yeah. Not criminally, but it's been there. Yeah. I mean, I know they exist. That's all I'm saying, but I can't like not live my life because you <laughs> hoped and prayed for the last 15 years. I watched you break my heart every year. <laughs> 15 years, la. 15 years, you had, I did it for 15 years. You broke my heart. You had <laughs> babies. You had vacations. You had a wedding. You you was going on vacation. You was on top of the, the New York State building. I never even been in New York. <laughs> 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 Y'all just listen to it. No, I'm just joking. Yo. Yo, I'm just saying, man. You're wild. What? What do you mean I'm wild? You're wild. People come out the woodwork be like, you know what? You were supposed to be mine. It's like, no, the fuck I wasn't. Who told you that? Listen, I'm I'm glad no one's ever... I mean, I've I've had a similar situation where it was like that was supposed to be my baby, but I don't know how people just say that that was supposed to be them in that situation. Like, why do you feel that way? What gave you the notion or the idea that that was supposed to be you? Like, who told you that? For me, that's some creep shit. My conscience. That's fine. Keep that shit to yourself, though. You know how many guys out there probably was like, man, I was supposed to have a baby with law. I hope none. What? What? Truthfully, I really do hope and You're pray so that nobody humble. No, I actually hope nobody ever felt that way. Because then that would make me the baddest chick in the school. No, I'm just No, <laughs> like it would it would make me seem as if I was very open and very friendly nah, with nah. my entire environment when really I had a solid group of people that I spoke to on a day-to-day -day basis that I considered to be my friends. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, it's one thing for a nigga to be like, oh, yeah, she was bad. I remember when we was in high school and da 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 and then we got out, and I see, I've been following her on Facebook, whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh, see. I can see him being like, yo, she's still a baddie if that's the case, but. Oh, that never happened? No, to be like. No, no, that never happened. I don't think so. It did, remember? Remember you was on the list of having the the, the baddest body. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. I, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Quisha up there. Who? Bruh, I don't know. All I know <laughs> is, it's absurd to me that someone could uh, daydream themselves into your life like that, 
as if it's supposed to be theirs. Like, how do you implant yourself into someone's life simply because you felt some, you felt a type of way? Like, it's never, it's never like, oh, yeah, you know, she told me we were going to be together. And then y'all wasn't together. And you was feeling some type of way. This was all some shit you came up with. That's that delusional heartbreak that we was just talking about. Right. Who's, um, you said you had two people? Yeah, so. Same person. Um, <laughs> so the other person said, yes, um, I have had my heart broken. Yes, I told them and ended up breaking up with them until I felt they showed me what I needed and deserved. And yes, they did apologize. Interesting. Right. But my question is. Did they apologize because <laughs> you broke up with them, or did they, or did they apologize because they sincerely meant it? Right, because he's like, "Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get you back." I wonder. Mm. I really wonder. Mm. That's a further question. Yeah, that's definitely a further question. Because Have you ever apologized for breaking somebody? Well, no, because you said you didn't really think I you did yeah, until think we I had did. that conversation. Yeah, I never apologized for the two hearts that I know for a fact that I broke. Because I don't think that it was for me to apologize for that. <laughs> Let me stop. I think I think though, like if you're gonna apologize, then it should definitely be um I think I think it should be like I don't I don't necessarily know like if it should be like are people apologizing because they hurt someone or are they apologizing for what they did or are they apologizing for both? I think it depends on the person. Right. Because somebody can be like, Well, damn, I didn't mean to do that, but I still I still stand on how I feel. That's me. Yeah, so right. so I'm sorry that it made you feel that way, but I can't change that it made you feel that way. Right. And some people be like, well, damn, I didn't mean to do that. And that's not how it came off. And I'm sorry for everything. Yeah. You know, so depends on the person. And it then it also depends on if you're just a, a fucked up person. You just be like, I'm sorry. Stop crying. You know, it's <laughs> funny because oh, shit. I didn't apologize for breaking your heart. And I won't apologize for breaking my heart because I also feel like it was necessary to break your heart. Not that that was my intention. This ever. is what you sound like when you said that. I don't think of <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I should have been apologized for breaking your fucking heart. Because you deserve that shit, you motherfucker. Can you stop? No, that's what I felt like. You when you just said that, that's what it felt like to me. What? It just sounded like the <laughs> devil was talking to me. Please stop. <laughs> Why though? I feel like that's the, that's the truth. I mean, it's the and truth, and I feel like that's valid. That's valid. But damn, that shit hurt. Yeah, but it taught uh, you something, right? Oh, it something. Where you going? It didn't teach me something. It taught me a whole new world. It it But it's crazy because that wasn't my intention. My intention no. wasn't to break your heart to no. teach you. But you knew it was gonna hurt. You know, honestly, I didn't I honestly didn't know what to expect from that really? situation. Honestly. You didn't think that was gonna hurt me. Breaking up with you? <laughs> <laughs> Saying I don't wanna be with you anymore i didn't know what that was gonna do honestly mm -mm. okay mm. <laughs> <laughs> why why i feel like you just started to pant a little bit i did <laughs> i'm good though i'm still standing i'm still here um yeah you don't have to i don't expect you to uh apologize but you did at first during that whole three months phase, that beginning phase of it, you just felt like 
how could you do this to me? <laughs> I did. Oh, my God. How could you? And I'm like, how did I do what? The fuck are you talking about? Mm. <sighs> What's the deep sigh for? Because, man, that shit still hurt. Why? It does. Because how did we get here? Because of you. I know. Oh, shut the fuck. Because you're bullshit. <clears throat> yeah, how did we get here? But, you know, God put you in on a path that gets you to a place where it needs to happen. And you just, you arise above everything. And you're reborn. You and were reborn. Everybody don't become reborn, honey. Uh, shit, I reborn. I, I, like I said, laying on that floor and seeing my life flash. Mm-hmm. Scariest shit ever. But I think it happened before that. What you mean? The rebirth? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. It was that whole... Yeah. That whole... Because it, it still was happening after. Yeah. You know, so... Like I said, I feel like those 2021, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like 2021... I f- Hear me out. I feel like the pandemic was supposed to happen because the pandemic showed me that how much I truly love being home. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> that, and it gave me the opportunity of, of me actually being home. Mm-hmm. Because there's one thing saying like, oh, man, I love being home. I love being home. But you... Ooh, 747. But you haven't... But you haven't been home to experience being home and doing stuff you know what i mean mm-hmm. so i feel like 2020 showed me like yo I, I truly love being home and i truly love this type of because we started the podcast you well, know we had started the podcast before that in 2020 19 we started the podcast no you sure yeah 2020 beginning no. it was 19 Cause you were working. Yeah, I w- we, I didn't stop working until March. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but I March. still think it was nineteen. No, it was the I'm winter. almost positive it was nineteen though. I'm almost positive. It was okay, 19. so 2019. Because, yeah. No, we didn't. St- you got to think. You were filming, and then we were transitioning into doing a podcast. Uh-uh. Because we were doing stuff on your on your page. What you looking at? I'm almost certain it was 19. Okay, cool. I don't really think that matters, but... It doesn't. But anyway, 2020 showed me, like, yo, I really love being home. I really love being around my family, and this is dope. And 2000... But it it didn't show me that I needed to change. Mm Mm-hmm. And stop being the horrible person that I was. Because I was a horrible asshole. You know what I mean? And... 2021 <laughs> when <coughs> I thought things were getting better and I was just like oh shit things aren't getting better and then all that shit happened and then I just was like seeing what my casualties of what I did for the for all the years pri- uh, prior started breaking at me then I was like oh yeah nah if I'm given another chance then I want my family to see the real me. So, like I said, I think I think I had deserved a heartbreak because I was so I don't think anybody deserves heartbreak, but I do think sometimes it takes heartbreak to learn certain things. Yeah. Yeah. That was one of those situations. So, yeah, so um yes. That's wow. my very interesting. That's, I mean, we you got to think, man. When we talk, we we learn something about each other every day. Mm-hmm. Because we are having more deeper conversation. We having I'm having better understanding on how I can communicate with you or communicate my feelings on certain things. Mm-hmm. And it turns into a long ass conversation, and we end up just talking about more stuff. And then you'd be like, "Damn, that actually makes sense." Because before it just was like, "I blah 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 blah." blah. You'd be like, "What the fuck are you talking? I'm done. Don't. I don't want to talk no more. What do you want for dinner?" <laughs> that's that's like that's how it would be, 
because the conversations were so one sided. Because I will be like, well, that's that's just. It was how you yeah, feel. but it was because you just, you just, you. you I wasn't there yet. Yeah, because you weren't you weren't ready to be accountable. You weren't ready to be right. honest right. with you know yourself or me for that matter. Really, anybody. Right. Um. So yeah, that um. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. So um. Yeah. yeah so I think the last three years was really crucial in my life. I think two the years. last two years were crucial. Well, three years. I mean, you gotta think this year, everybody. Um, and this year is almost over. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta think this year is has I've evolved to be more independent in myself and not relying on people to provide me for things. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I need to do this. I need to kiss this person's ass because they can provide me with this with my family. And it's like, fuck that. If, if I'm just that fucking, I'm that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I go get this shit myself. Right. So I like I said like this year has definitely showed me that. Interesting. Beginning of last year showed me that when I started being I so started. So what was what was your biggest blessing from your heartbreak? Um or best lesson learned from your heartbreak? Life is too short. Really? Yeah, life is well. My biggest blessing. I mean, I'm just asking. My you big, ain't gotta change it. Well, no, because be, your biggest blessing and your and your biggest lesson is two different things. I say okay. that. My biggest blessing from my heartbreak was, no matter what was going on, my kids were there. And as much as they was checking on me, they was like, "Yo, I know what you." They they were very aware of what was going on. And they were like, are you good? And they knew I wasn't good. You know what I mean? Because if my kids wasn't checking on me, I don't know how long I was in the garage. Wow. Yeah. So if they wasn't aware of me, I'm not here today. Yes, <laughs> but I'm but I'm but you get, you get what I'm saying though. Like I'm not I'm no, not here facts, because for real. yeah, that shit was wild. Right, you know, and they and they reached out to other people. Right, and it was just like, yeah, you know. So to me, that was a the a blessing. You know, my biggest lesson, like I said, was life is too short, and you have to be who you are. From start to finish, because you can lose everything from for not being who you are as a person. Right. When you're tr- when you're truly a genuine, honest, great person, you have to show that you you can't. T- you got to show that to the people that actually care, not to the people that's somewhat your friends or I'm down for you, but you get in the car and the car gets shot up and they chasing after this dude. You know what I mean? So those are the two things that just made me be like fuck everybody outside these walls you know what i mean fuck all the people fuck the people that don't really care about me you know i talk to my grandma ev almost every day that's never changed you know what i mean You know, what's up? What what shows you watching? Uh, I'm not feeling that right now, Grandma. Boy, what you watching? How you feel? Talk to me. You know what I mean? I, those conversations wasn't happening. Really? What you mean? What you mean those conversations weren't happening? I'm saying for for <laughs> people that claim they care about you, because everybody was trying to talk bad you know what i mean everybody was trying to give everybody was trying to give their truth on what they go through and it's like we're not the same right it's like we're not the why is our conversation changing because you know what's going on my grandma was the only person like boy like let's we gonna talk like how we've been talking ain't nothing gonna change 
Interesting. You know what I mean? I and and I commend her for that. Mm. Yeah. Me I, I mean, I knew certain people, but Yeah. Me me and your conversation <laughs> after that mm. got really interesting because it was it more got honest. Yeah, it was like, yo, this is what I've been feeling. You know what I mean? Yo, how you been feeling? This is how I've been feeling. Oh, okay, cool. Well, well, honest on your end, because I was always just right, but I was, but I felt like because I was trying to hide behind other things for such a long time, I couldn't be honest with you because I was so worried about how you was gonna look at me. Mm-hmm. So me being honest with you, then we can get through all the negative, negative stuff that actually made me who I was as a person and get through. But I was always taught, like, you don't put that because somebody's, they ain't going to do nothing but play on it. Right. Like, literally, they're going to play on your on your negative stuff. And they're going to they gonna try to manipulate you. But it was totally different with you because when we talked about things, we got through it. We talked about it. We communicated. We actually found a solution on why those certain things were those certain things. And right. it just made me a better person because I never had nobody that was in my corner like that. Right. Like, you don't need to feel dishonest because I'm here for you no matter what. Yeah. You don't need to. I don't care how much money you make this week because I'm here for you for us. Yeah. I'm not trying to make you a better person for anybody else but us. Yeah. You know what I mean? So really more so for you. Yeah, for yeah. yeah, because if you're if you're at your best self, what you think that do for our boys? What you think that do for me? I'm proud to, I'm I'm always going to be proud to call you my best friend. Right. I'm always going to be proud to call you my husband. I'm right. always proud to be call you my my lover, my you know what I mean, my you know what I mean, somebody that protect me because that's that's, that's not what you lacked. Right. But you lack self esteem. You lack these things that pretty much was like, yo, this is negative. Let's mm-hmm. get let's let's bust through this. Like let's talk the about detri- this. Thing you lacked. Yeah, de- things that you, were you detrimental. Can't, you you to can't even be honest with people at work because you're so worried about how they're gonna treat you if you don't be say fucking no. No, I'm good. If they don't call you no more, okay, another door opens. Right. You know what I mean? Certain stuff like that. Yep. So yeah, so. Yeah, that's so that's your biggest lesson was life is short. Your biggest blessing was your babies, your boys. Yeah, yeah. I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, that's interesting though. Really? Yeah, because I don't think we. That's not something that we've talked about. Oh, that's why we got the podcast. Yeah, I never. <laughs> asked, I never asked you. I mean, we've talked about the other stuff. Yeah. To an extent, like this heartbreak conversation was new. Mm-hmm. Um, and we knew certain things here and there, but. That last part about the lesson and the blessing. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's wild. Right. Let me see. What did I learn from my heartbreak? <sighs> Honestly, I didn't learn shit from my heartbreak. I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> so, I'm gonna tell you be why. So hot. I'm gonna put that on the key. Heartless. No, it's it's not even that. I didn't learn anything because what it did for me was solidify what I already felt. And that was more damaging to me than it was helpful to me. Because I've already in my life felt like I can't trust nobody. Uh, Ain't nobody going to be there for me. I got to ride for me regardless of who's around me and why. It's going to be me and my kids and that's going to be what it is. Right. That's the only <laughs> That's the only thing that it, it, it did for me. Mm-hmm. And that didn't do anything for me. Because you already knew it. Because I already felt that way. So it just solidified what I felt. And it put me in a, in what we call nowadays, a, that masculine position to feel like I got to protect me. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to depend on me. I'm going to do for me. I'm going to worry about me. Mm-hmm. And fuck what everybody else is talking about. Because y'all the same motherfuckers that's put me in the position that I'm in now. <laughs> Were, oh, probably. Were you... We might have to end this really now. <laughs> we kind of we kind of deep in this. Okay. Um. We talked about that already off the off the thing. I was gonna say, were you surprised by any of your heartbreaks? Um. No, 
y'all just listen to. Yeah, yes, yes. You. I mean, we talked. Well, I, that's yeah. what I said. We talked about. Yeah, outside that. of that, you. But yeah, yeah. but. Uh, you know, I'll say on the back end, and then we can we can get off. About, I don't necessarily know. I guess my biggest blessing from my heartbreak was eventually turning it around, getting to a place where I was healed enough from it. To then learn that it can be better. Yeah, my Jay Shetty face right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like That's that was the the biggest blessing was that I came out the other end. Yes. Not in that same headspace as like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Like mm-hmm. y'all the problem. Right. It became like, okay, yeah, they were the problem, and you already don't fuck with people anyway, so just let it be what it is cut it off where it is do you do what you know is gonna make you happy and that's gonna be that it's biggest lesson you got to let people show you who they are that's that's amazing and that's the only reason why we're here today amazing me and you that's amazing whoa whoa i was doing my jay shetty like that's how <laughs> you respond to everything that's amazing <laughs> yeah that's what I'm talking. yes and you know you know it's right no, don't I'm don't i'm just saying no what do you mean by that i just mean I, I mean, I've told you this before. Like, the only reason why we are here today is because you've told me, you've vowed to me that you've changed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. you're continuing to change and continuing to do the work. And therefore, I only have to, I have to allow you to show me that before right. I can say yes or no. Right. So. Right. You know, so far it's yes, but. I about to say because you know I got like six more months. <laughs> All I'm saying is, pretty little wife. That's it. <laughs> pretty little wife. Y'all uh, just listen to talk that shit with the Melvin. We out this thing. Bye. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs>